What's going on everybody? This is Patrick from Porter's Unboxings as you know. Today guys I'm gonna give um I'm gonna do a special video today on the WWE draft. Um and and like where did the like where did the superstars go? And I'm gonna be doing the same thing on Monday or Tuesday. Like because I yeah, so I'm gonna be doing a um, Monday's draft result on Tuesday more on um, Tuesday after I get out of school. Um, yeah, so let's just go. Um, what did you think, guys? Think of the draft so far? I, I think it was great. Um, so here are the results. If you haven't watched SmackDown yet, please uh, please cl cl click off this video. I'll give you um, about uh, two minutes. So, uh, what what did you guys think of the draft so far? Um, I'm I'm very excited. What will happen? Um, and, and yes, it says the results will take effect. After backlash, so yeah, so yeah, let's you so 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 let's get into it. Um, the results are SmackDown Night One, Round One, the U undisputed WWE Universal Champion Roman. Reigns, the only one that matters. <laughs> yes, yeah, see what I did? The only one. Roman Reigns, Solo Sokoa, and Paul Heyman, the bloodline. Now, as you see, I, I didn't say the Usos, so will they will they be drafted on on Monday? Are they kicked out of the bloodline? And where is Roman Reigns? You you might say, because because he was on the phone with with um with Paul Paul Hammond last night, so and, <clears throat> so I think this is a, a a wrong choice, but Cody Rhodes is drafted over to Raw now. How 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 in the world is Roman? How how in the world is Cody gonna uh, um, finish the story? Because or is he is he just gonna win the world title on, on Raw, which I don't really want him to, because as I heard um last night on a podcast, if he. It, if he does win, it's just going to be a consolation prize. Um, yeah, that just like a consolation prize. Like you need to finish the story. Is he going to win Money in the Bank and cash in on Roman? Who knows? Will Roman Reigns ever get pinned for that title? Nobody knows, because he hasn't been pinned since 2019, ladies and gentlemen. So, this is a weird pick, but they do it every year. SmackDown selects Raw Women's Champion Bianca Belair, or as I call her, Bianca Del Air. Bianca Del Air. That means Bianca Dead Air. Because I can't stand her. Just stay on Raw. What are you going to do? Change titles with Rhea Ripley? Damn it. She just won the SmackDown Women's title on SmackDown. Why would you change titles? I, I don't know if that will happen. But... They they did it to the New Day and um and the Street Profits uh, I think like last year or two years ago. 
And the final draft pick in round one, Becky Lynch, goes to Monday Night Raw. I'm guessing Seth Rollins is staying on Raw too. Wink, wink. Maybe. Not sure. Um, these two draft picks I find really surprising. Going the first pick in round number two, you have going to Friday Night SmackDown, Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profits. And, and damn, they want the smoke. We want the smoke. Which I find really weird. Thank God they're off Raw. That, 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 that show for them was, was weird. I don't know because they, they, they weren't getting it done on Raw. So what are they going to do on SmackDown? And I thought they would get broken up. I really did. But, yeah. And the next pick I find really weird because now, now we know where the other one's going to go. Going into Monday Night Raw in the next pick of round number two, the Intercontinental Champion, Walter. Not Gunther, Walter, the weak Liquid Kaiser and G Giovanni Vinti, Vin Vinti, Vin Vinci. I I don't know how to say his name, but Imperium are, are going to Monday Night Raw. So does that mean Austin Theory is going to SmackDown? Tell me. I don't know. Have I said L A Night Yeah's name yet? No. And that really pisses me off. Where is LA, where, where's LA Knight going to go? Raw or SmackDown? I guess, I guess we'll find out on Raw on Monday. But thank God this pick is going to SmackDown. The Lady Dar Superstar Edge. Yes! Edge is on SmackDown. Thank God. Goodbye, Judgment Day. And now that I say that, J Judgment Day might be on SmackDown. Who knows? W will Judgment Day be, be, be broken up? I, I don't think so. I hope not, because that's the best thing that Dominic... That's the best thing that Dominic has ever done. Is join the Judgment Day. That saved his goddamn career, right there. And, and if you guys don't think that, then you're wrong. He was stupid as a face, very dumb. Yes, yes, he, he won the tag team titles with his father. Awesome, but the rest of his career as a face, dumb. That that match with Seth Rollins, great. The rest of the thing, dumb. The best thing that guy has ever done was join the Judgment Day and turn on his father. Thank you. And in the next pick, going to Monday Night Raw, Matt Riddle. Bro, I know where Randy's going, bro, if he's in the draft, bro. Please, for the love of God, don't put back RK, bro. I mean, I, I love him, but come on. Randy Orton needs a singles push now. He needs to come back and win, and win the WWE World Heavyweight title. The big gold belt that looks stupid now with, with the WWE logo. You know you, you you know what it looks like. The big gold belt and the IC championship ha had a kid. That's what it looks like. The world title and the IC title had a baby. 
That's what it looks like. Round three. SmackDown selects. Bobby Lashley, or as I like to call him, a.k.a. Bobby Trashley. Why? You, 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 you've already made Raw look like the weak show. Now, now you're putting this guy on, SmackDown, the A show? Okay, so are, are you telling me that Bobby is going after Roman now? Who is going after Roman Reigns right now? Because Co Cody Rhodes is on Raw now. So, what's going to happen with Roman? Please tell me, WWE. And in a shocking pick, going over to Monday Night Raw, and I'll show, I'll show you now. We, we already know his contract was being pended like for a new signature going to a monday at night law the scottish warrior drew mcintyre what just a few weeks ago and now you know that aew is in London, England for a couple of, I think, so. Yeah. Coming tw 2023. A AEW London debut. And now, I go over to Twitter. And, and I've already said this in my Q&A. Drew, Drew McIntyre. Look, the same thing with Becky Lynch. A couple of months, or like a couple of weeks ago, blacked out screen. Blacked out screen. So, are you saying he signed a new contract? I have no idea, dude. The Scottish Psychopath is on Monday Night Raw. Because th the last time that we saw, the last time that we saw him was at WrestleMania 39, McIntyre challenged Walter for an IC title and a highly acclaimed triple threat, also we call it cutting Sheamus. Marking Drew McIntyre's first match received such ratings. As 2023 draft, McIntyre was drafted to Raw. I don't know, but that's weird. Will he be in London for the 2020 for for AEW is this just a storyline I don't know but the 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 last pick in round the actually no the next pick in round number 3 we get the returning to smackdown the returning of a J. Styles, Meacham, Luke Gallows, and Carl Anderson, the OC. Now we have we haven't seen AJ Styles in a long time. We thought he signed a new deal with with like I don't know. Like I thought I thought AJ Styles was gone. I thought Styles was gone from WWE for real. I thought, but he's back. He's back from his foot injury. AJ Styles is back at the place that AJ Styles built, SmackDown. And the last pick that I think is so stupid, going to Raw 
the Miz, the Miz, of all people, go to SmackDown, Miz. That's where you shine. The IC title was was looking great on, on you in 2016, and that's the only reason why because you were on SmackDown. Wrong pick, Raw. But in round number four, and I think like the last, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, round number four, and then there's some picks that didn't make it on like, um, didn't make it on the regular show. So in the SmackDown lowdown, but in round number four, you have coming over to SmackDown in Michael Cole's worst nightmare. Yes, Michael Cole's worst nightmare. You have Bailey, Dakota Kai, and EO Sky with in damage control. Wow. I have nothing to say because I love Bailey. I, I love Dakota Kai and I love EO Sky, but 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 guys, this group needs to to end. Bailey needs to come. I I don't know. Uh, um, win 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 the tag team titles again. I don't know. But this man just returned to SmackDown and is and already just got drafted to Monday Night Raw. The next pick in the draft is Shinsuke Nakamura. Yes, yes. Going to Monday Night Raw, Shinsuke Nakamura. This world title, like, tournament is looking great. Looking great. I I love Shinsuke, Shinsuke Nakamura to death. Um, the next two draft picks are from NXT. I don't know how to say this. Alba Fra Frey and Icy Dawn. I don't know. I, I I know I said the Dawn name wrong. But the NXT Women's Tag Team Champions are going to SmackDown. And I don't think they'll be Sm NXT Women's Champions for long because they just got... Dude, I don't watch NXT anymore. I'm sorry, but... It's really bad. But but now it's like probably going to be good. You have Car Carmelo Hayes as NXT tech, um, NXT champion. Now this one is weird. Going to, in the next pick, going to Monday Night Raw. She just won this championship. WrestleMania weekend. NXT Women's Champion Indy Hartwell. I love, I love it, 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 Indy Hartwell. And yes, guys, I don't watch NXT, but I, I do watch the NXT pay-per-views. Yes, that is true. Guys. Um, the way is almost back. So, are you... Dexter Loomis, Johnny Gargano, Candle Slaray, Indy Hartwell, maybe. But um, yeah, that's the last pick in um the main draft. Now the SmackDown Lowdown. I I, I haven't watched it yet, but um, I have the results right here. Going to Monday Night Raw. The Viking Raiders. Dexter Loomis. Candice LeRae. Mace and Mansoor. And Maximum Max, Maxine Dupree. Zoe Starks. Yes. From NXT. J.D. Um, um, this guy, G let's see, Mick, 
this guy. So this guy was in NXT for a long time, but this man is going to Friday night. Wait, what? Is going to Raw or SmackDown? Going to Raw. Yes! Let's go, let's go, let's go, go, go. That is a shocker. Um, dude, this whole draft has been shocking. Um, and finally, he's back on the main roster. Still, going to Raw. Apollo Clues! Yes! He's back, he's back, he's back, he's back, he's back. And the, and also going to Raw in the, in the last three draft picks, Natalia, Sonya Deville, and Kelsey Green. Holy crap, thank God. And, and the next pick, going to SmackDown now, Top Dollar, Ashanti Three Adonis, and Beef, Beef Fab, Hit Row, and also Lacey Evans. Holy crap, is she still employed? And, and the final um, thing, um, um, these, these are free agents, and I can't believe I'm saying this name. Free agents. Probably meeting AEW signees. But free agents. Omos. Why haven't you got drafted yet? Ali. No shocker there. But the biggest shock of all. I, I, I might actually cry at this one because he's been... He's been my favorite for a damn long time. Cashing in the night after WrestleMania 29. Winning the IC Champion from The Miz. The IC Championship from The Miz. In a, in a badass rivalry we have as a freaking agent. Dolph. Ziggler. Why? Put him on SmackDown for God's sakes. He has ruined his career. I'm saying this. He's ruined his career on Raw. Put, put him on SmackDown. For the draft... On Monday Night Raw, I swear to God, put him on SmackDown, people. Put him on SmackDown. Let him shine. Or, if you're going to put him on Raw, put him in the world title picture. In the... He deserves another world title. I'm not... I'm not talking about the NXT title. I'm talking about the world title. Put him in the championship matches again. He's just a free agent. So, guys, guys, this has been Patrick from Porters Unboxing. I'm telling you, all the competitors of, of draft night number one, and I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I have. This has been Patrick from Porters Unboxing, as you know. And I'm out. Peace.